Oh, it's what? Everybody, meet Nyla. Say, hi, mommy. Say hi to everybody, mommy. This is Nyla. Caesar. Come. You don't want to sit down? These are my kids. I love them. Why do have not smiles? Hmm? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? Where's my iPhone, dog? Matter of fact, where's my iPhone, dog? I stick to YouTube. It's like TV. You know, I'm doing something new with this uh, YouTube channel. Instead of doing traditionally what YouTube would expect you to do, which is to get your numbers up and to um, share in revenue, they take about like 55%, 50%, some crazy number they take just to revenue share. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to totally sidestep all of that. From now on, if you like my videos, don't give me a like. Don't like. If you like, send me a dollar via Venmo or Cash App. Instead of liking or instead of subscribing or whatever you do, you could do all of that. But more importantly, if you like the video, send a dollar. Um, okay, can you put it in the kitchen? Thank you so much, Jacob. I really appreciate that, bro. My guy, Lawrence. Lawrence Lederman. What's up? Man. Now, hey, Lawrence is going to go across the country, right? Or where are you going? Um, first stop is Moab, and I'm teaching a knife photography workshop there, and then I'm continuing to the Pacific Northwest. And if Canada decides to open up to us Americans, then I'm going to go there. Maybe Alaska, but probably not. But then next to Banff, um, like central Canada, and then off to Nova Scotia, by fall. I plan to be in Nova Scotia by fall and then chase the leaves changing south from Nova Scotia back down to Maine to New York. So I just constantly am hitting the prime peak colors. Um, I'm going to be living in my Jeep. No hotels, no motels, not one night. I'll be doing time lapses every single day. I'll be recording tutorials every single day. I'll be just trying to survive every single day. Um, a lot of challenges when you do stuff like this, aside from just like the stuff that you normally think about, like, you know, food and sleep, um, like backing up, you know, backing up my footage alone is a huge ordeal, right? Because like you can replace all your photography gear and equipment, but one thing you can't replace is your storage. So like I had to figure out a solution. And uh, what made you decide to want to do this? Well, I've always just loved landscape photography. I love being out there. I love being in the wilderness. I love like feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Can I say something? When I went and I, I drove across country for the first time, only time, the one time I felt like that was after I left, um, what's the park where they have the Grand, the Grand Canyon? That park? And I saw a moose in the road and had to pull over from, cause I was like, yo, this thing is like the size of this house. That thing was huge and it scared me and I stopped and I said, like, what the fuck am I doing? It's quiet. I look up and you see the veil of stars is what they call it, right? And I was like, yo, this country is amazing, right? That was the first time. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Beautiful. But I'm just uh, I'm, I'm actually getting like a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's amazing, by the way. So anyway, so we're with Lawrence. We're, we're looking at everything he's doing to prepare for this trip. He's going to go for four months. We're gonna go into the car soon, but just uh, oh, introducing you to my guy. This is my son, Rico. Yes. Hi. My name is not Rico. What's your name? His name is Rico Suave. My name is Rico Suave. Yeah, hold it. Carry it is yours. I don't have one. That's an old cookie. That's from when we we did the video. For that's from when we did the the, the KFC video. Look, show everybody what you got. 
CK wants to eat that, but that's when we got the So why did you save it? It's CK. I didn't okay. save it. It just so happened that I found it in my bag. So you want to eat that? Then we did that five months ago. Let's watch The Genius. Are you making a vlog? 100%. Okay. You want to say Can something to the vlog? I don't know what to say. This is going on my vlog. Oh my god, someone's moving in. But I'm going to change my vlog. To what? To delete it and start it all over. Why? Because I hate my vlog. Why? I don't like it anymore. Why? It's boring. Because you're not making anything. Yes, exactly. But now you have a phone. You can make your own thing. Mm -mm -mm. iPod Touch. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I got this big ass belly going on. I don't want to show nobody. <laughs> I don't know. This dad bod shit is kicking in a lot quicker than I imagined it would. You take one month off and all of a sudden dad bod, dad bod, dad bod. I'm like, okay. So this is what other grown men used to talk about when they say your metabolism slows down, you have to chill out on the eating. Now I know, I can't do them things I was doing when I was 20 years old. And I knew this, but now it's really starting to hit me. Oh, the whole Harlem is out. Oh shit. The whole Harlem. Yeah, what's going on Harlem? Yeah. Okay, so so short social corner, corner social. Sorry. Oh shit! Look, everyone's out and about. But you know, Harlem. Harlem is Harlem is popping. Now I'm gonna explain something. That area back there, down on 125th Street, there used to be another, there, there used to be the other spot. And then, you know, the, it's just funny to see like more and more black people moving more up towards uptown. 125th used to be the spot. You used to have Corner Social. Yo. You used to have corner social, and now you have this. I think black people need to learn to retain. Well, we, we speak about it amongst these, ourselves all the time, but we're not the ones that have to sell our property because we think we need the money. The fact of the matter is the property is the money. Blacks, blacks we suffer from uh, not lack of an education and that too, a lack of understanding of what to do with your hard-earned dollars and the dollars that that basically a generational wealth and this is just case in point if, if, if we could hold on to the properties I mean that's 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 generational wealth is real estate they they call it real estate for a reason it's real estate it's not fake estate it's not fiat it's 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 real estate. It's important that blacks hold on to that. As best as we can. Look at all of this wasn't here prior. Like all of these restaurants and stuff. The, the reason these exist is I think naturally what's happening is, you know, the, the community is lifting up. But like I said, on 125th Street, all of USA. This is like my second home in New York. I'm from Queens. I'm actually... I was actually born in the Bronx, moved to Queens, and I spent a majority of my time in Queens. But Harlem is my second home, man, believe it or not. I spend every week in Harlem. I'm in Harlem, I'm in Harlem a lot. But see these old houses like this? Gorgeous. The goal is for black people to keep these houses. All of these townhouses and stuff, these are the ones that's getting moved into. But a lot of blacks still own these. And I think these are historical monuments, so you can't really do too much touching up. Definitely. You know, you can't really do too much touching up, but look how pretty these are. It's gorgeous. Wow. Nice big homes. Yeah. 
and that's New York for you. Text Jordan B. Yo, come, are you home? Question mark. Okay. I'll set this. Not sure if he's home. I walked all the way to my brother's house to realize that it's going to rain. Maybe I shouldn't be outside. Oh, maybe I might even have to run home the way that the clouds are looking. Not sure if you can see how it looks, but it's about to pour down. I got caught in the damn rain. I don't know if you can see, but I'm in the rain. But the reason I'm on this block is because I want to show you something. I really waited and waited to show this. Now, on my last video, from the thumbnail, you can see that I was like, there's no way a black person make this Black Lives Matter. This is what a Black Lives Matter sign supposed to look like. This is what black people make. That's a black, this is a Black Lives Matter sign. Not that other stuff that we saw in Soho, man. That other stuff we saw ain't it. I stick to YouTube, it's like TV.